Now you see me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. In this video we are going to be reviewing Now You See Me, which is a brilliant thriller heist movie that is a true cinematic spectacle and cinematic masterpiece and is just such a joyous film to watch from start to finish and follows the adventures of four magicians as they perform very elaborate and awe-inspiring tricks in front of a massive live audience and reward that live audience with lots of cash. Would you find out why later on? I mean, this film is often criticised for the twist right at the end of this movie. However, if you watch the second instalment, everything pieces together really, really nicely. And it all connects together and concludes really, really brilliantly. And as far as the first movie is concerned, I think it's a truly brilliant film. And I cannot wait to break it down for you in this movie review. So from a storyline point of view, this film is really, really awesome as it's really, really easy to follow. The grandness of all the tricks looks absolutely incredible. Plenty of twists and turns in there and just loads of surprises and shocks in store for the audience, which is really, really great. But as far as the main story is concerned, four magicians are invited to the big league known as The Eye and they suddenly become its four horsemen and perform very elaborate and very magical tricks on a massive stage, such as sending a man from Vegas all the way to Paris to rob a bank, sending money from a millionaire in the audience to everybody else in the audience and to rob a safe as well. And so the film then explores whether or not these guys are going to be successful in pulling off all of these tricks and if they're going to be able to outsmart the FBI and the Interpol who are now chasing them after all of the events that they are doing. So from a positive point of view, like I said, it's a true cinematic spectacle and masterpiece and it really does feel like you've got the best seat in the house to watch all of these acts happening live on stage which is really really cool like i said before as well there are plenty of awesome twists and turns even the one right at the end which i know gets a lot of criticism but like i said that one also gets concluded in the next movie there are some really cool chase sequences as well in this movie which is really really high octane and as they are all magic based they are very different to other chase sequences and action sequences to things that you have seen before and also there's a bit of a heist aspect in this movie as well which is just making it really really cool however from a negative point of view the final sequence in this movie could have been even more elaborate they use lights a lot in that sequence and that looks really really cool but i do feel like they could have elevated it even further and like i said the final reveal often gets criticized as well but like i said it's not as bad when you watch a second movie but you know that being said overall from a storyline point of view it is very awesome very fun and very high octane based in this movie So from a cast and character's point of view, not only is this movie incredibly fun, incredibly awe-inspiring and just plain awesome, it's also got a killer cast in this movie and they just do excellent acting in this movie to bring all of their characters to life, which is really, really cool. So first up, let's go through the four horsemen. So first up, we have Jesse Eisenberg, who is the main leader and magician in this movie, and he is a very arrogant character, very similar to the Lex Luthor character that he plays in the DC movies and also to Mark Zuckerberg in the Social Network movie, but also this character is just really, really cool and really, really charismatic as well. Next up, we have Woody Harrelson, who is the hypnotist in this movie. His sequences in this movie and in the sequel just look absolutely awesome. You're just very much laughing on the floor and very much inspired and impressed in how he executes all of his acts and the impact that this has on the audience is absolutely awesome. But as far as this character is concerned, his brother stole all of his money and then ran away and this character is now trying to make up for that and you get to see the impact of this relationship in the next movie as well. Next up we have Isla Fisher who is a bit of an escapist magician and she was also the previous assistant to the Jesse Eisenberg character and also had a bit of a romantic relationship with that character as well that is also explored in this movie. Next up we have Dave Franco who focuses on sleight of hand magic in this movie. In the first act of this movie I thought he was the least developed but then he has this killer sequence, both from an action sequence point of view, as well as from a chase sequence point of view, and this is just focused on this character. So actually it definitely makes up for his lack of screen time in the beginning because he then has this almighty brilliant sequence all for himself. Next up we have Mark Ruffalo, who is a brilliant actor in this movie in terms of being the bumbling FBI agent that constantly gets fooled by the four horsemen and then the impact of this character just constantly chasing after his tail and just constantly getting humiliated by these magicians is absolutely hilarious. 
Next up we have Morgan Freeman who is an ex-magician and now focuses on exposing magicians so he's definitely a bit of a villain character towards the Four Horsemen and then we also have Michael Caine in this movie who is a sponsor of the Four Horsemen and very hilariously was playing a somewhat similar role in Prestige so from a casting character's point of view they definitely have awesome actors doing such a good job playing all of their characters in Now You See Me. So from a visuals point of view this is definitely where this movie comes into its own as it's just such an awesome watch quite literally from start to finish seeing all of the acts happening on stage just looks absolutely awesome all of the heist sequences are really really cool all of the chase and action sequences are really really great and just the tone of this movie is just really really fun really really energetic really really high paced and everything is just super elaborate and it just works so well within this magical setting and also they just reveal all of the big tricks as well in terms of how they are all done all of the mastermind magic and planning that goes on behind the scenes which is really really cool so from a visuals point of view this movie is truly iconic So from a comparison point of view, within the heist genre, this is definitely my favourite heist movie. I think it's so much stronger than The Prestige, I think it's a lot stronger than the Oceans franchise. So much better than Money, Plane, Hustlers, The Hustle, all of the heist movies. And this movie is definitely the strongest one out of all of them. I absolutely love this franchise. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the future with this franchise. In terms of comparing it to the other Oceans movies, you know, that's also got brilliant A-list celebrities in that film and has really interesting elaborate plans happening as well but I just feel like Now You See Me definitely takes it up again in terms of really making it more expansive a lot more interesting and intriguing and just super elaborate as well I mean Ocean Movie is really really cool but I definitely feel like Now You See Me is definitely in another league of its own So overall I'm sure you can tell I absolutely love Now You See Me I think it was such a cool movie I absolutely love this brand I think the franchise is super super cool I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the future, but as far as this movie is concerned, I just thought it was super enjoyable. Loved all of the twists and turns, loved all of the performances, and just loved the storyline. I think it was super fun, super high paced. They had some brilliant sequences in there, and I was just literally having my jaw on the floor throughout, and I just thought it was such a good film. And so for all of those reasons, I have to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.